What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Nicole Murphy. It's been a while since I've talked about Nicole Murphy, but she sort of reappeared in public with a new guy who apparently is seemingly younger than her, which doesn't surprise me. Um, I think that Nicole Murphy at this point is going to be dating majority younger guys, right? Now, it's been a while since I've spoken about Nicole Murphy. Last time I've really spoken about Nicole Murphy was when she was dating a married man, you know, seemingly getting caught with this guy, which looked very suspicious. You know, you with this married Hollywood director and somehow you both are intimately together and it's somehow caught on video or photos you know, and and people who looked at it probably had the same idea at the time as me is that I don't think this was a coincidence. And Nicole Murphy, again, it's been a while since I've spoken about her. It seems that she's just going to be casually dating. And, and when you get to the age that she's at, that's really all you can do because at this point, I, I don't, because Nicole could have gotten married. She was with Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan was willing to marry her, but I don't think she wants to be married anymore, to be honest with you. Especially if it's going to be by men that, at the time, she felt like she could get another rub. She felt like she could get another Michael Strahan and that has not happened she has not gotten another Michael Strahan she has basically been in a situation where she now has to date young guys and the guy she's currently with looks like he's probably some personal trainer now when it comes to older women nowadays a lot of older women have the same mentality as Nicole you know they think that they're always going to have their looks they're always going to have a nice body they're always going to have options that's not always the case. Now, some people are going to say, well, Jay, how do you know she wants to be in a long-term relationship or married? I believe that when she was with Michael, she wasn't really... I think she wanted to marry Michael, but I think Michael realized it probably would have failed. It probably would have failed, and he got out of it as quickly as he could. And ever since then, it's been downhill. You get caught with this married man. Now, you know, a couple years later... You're dating younger guys who look like their personal trainers. This is where she's at. And it's only going to go more and more downhill because, again, I've even heard women say that they're always going to have their looks. Well, you got to understand, you know, that's not always going to be the case. You know, even Angela Bassett, who's believe in her early 60s, she's married. She ain't trying to be single. And people say that she still looks absolutely stunning, right? Still still a beautiful woman, right? But not every woman is going to be there. And, and again, Angela has the mentality of a wife. She, doesn't, she, does, she not, doesn't care about being in the streets. She doesn't care about living her best life being single, right? But a lot of these other women don't have that mentality. A lot of these other women, like Nicole Murphy, think they're going to always have their looks they're always going to have a nice body. They're always going to have somebody to choose from. And that's not always going to be the case. Now, let's get into this A Showbiz article. It said, the former wife of Eddie Murphy was photographed packed on a PDA with a mystery man who looks younger than her. Almost three years since she got caught in a scandal involving a married director who she tried to take from his wife. I truly believe that Nicole Murphy thought she was going to take this man from his wife. And that failed. Nicole Murphy may need to keep her relationship on the hush-hush this time. The former model has seemingly found herself a new man as she has been caught getting cozy with a mystery man. In the photos and the pictures which have circulated online, the ex-wife of Eddie Murphy was seen packing on the PDA with the guy putting her hand on his shoulder as they were walking together. One of the snaps also shows them putting their faces close to each other as they were about to kiss. The identity of Nicole's new man is still unknown, but he looks younger than her. 
Uh, the guy also has tattoos all over his legs. She looked happy with his companion with his companion as she flashed a smile. Of course, because she's with the guy she's attracted to. When a woman is with a man that they are attracted to, of course they're gonna be happy. <laughs> you know? Of course they're gonna be happy. But this is why she works extremely hard to keep herself up because she wants to date men that she finds attractive. Nicole looked a bit standout in a pink long sleeve shirt that bared her abs and short leggings uh, with a black hat during the outing. Her mystery boyfriend, meanwhile, kept a simple t-shirt, shorts, slippers. As there is still no word on who the man could be, social media users have trolled Nicole over her past affair scandal. Who husband is it this time? One person wondered. Another seemingly guessed somebody's husband probably you know it would it surprise y'all <laughs> would it really surprise you i mean this woman got caught trying to take somebody else's husband who she knew was still married but it did not bother nicole because women like nicole don't respect other women you know women like nicole always are going to go after uh, another woman's man because single men aren't they, they don't really care for single men the, uh, and this is the mentality of a lot of Western women. A lot of these Western women prefer men who are in relationships. They prefer men who are already attached. They, they're not checking for men who are single. They're not checking for men who, you know, don't have much going on in the relationship or marriage department. They think they're entitled to being with somebody's husband. And Nicole Murphy has that, that same mentality as well. But, you know, let, let, let her speak about, you know, her exes, <laughs> you know, and their possible infidelity, especially with Eddie, right? You know, she's been in a situation where women have wanted to be with Eddie. But she will still go and try to take the husband of another woman. I tell you, a lot of women like Nicole don't respect other women. They probably don't even like other women. If they feel like that woman is an obstacle to her getting what she wants, she's not going to like her. Another comment, another commented, however, how hopefully this one isn't already somebody else's man. A fourth user asked, is it her man this time? Or someone else remarked, as long as he is hers. In July of 2019, Nicole was under fire after she was caught sharing a steamy smooch with the director Antoine Fuqua who has been married to actress Layla Rashan since 1998 addressing the matter on the Wendy Williams show several months later she expressed her regrets for kissing a married man it was a frozen in time pick Nicole admitted trust me Wendy I wish it didn't happen it was a moment where I should have thought more through the situation made better judgments it's something that i apologize for well that's good that she apologized for it, but you know nicole at the time was in her 40s she had been married for a long time she was engaged to michael strahan she'd been dating a little bit she should have known better than to do that that's a mistake that you make in your 20s when you're still learning to be an adult and to have relationships she you know, what happened was she failed to take Antoine from his wife and when that failed she had to do the apology tour and then she sort of went away for a couple of years but now she's sort of back right and she has to understand that you you know when you're in your 40s you can't be with, with grown children you can't be making those type of mistakes especially when you've been married for a long time you know what you went through being married to Eddie. And then you go and try to do that to another woman who I'm sure you've been around, you've talked to. She, however, denied that they were sleeping together. Yeah, right. No, it did not happen. First of all, I was at the pool. We were on a different time zone. I was having a hard time staying awake. I was drinking and I was drinking an expression. That's it. She explained, it was a moment that should not have happened. I regret it. I apologize for it. I'm a human being. It was a mistake. 
The former fiance of Michael Strahan went on claiming that it was an honest mistake. Basically, women, this could happen to you. Do your research. Very much so. Do your research. You know, it happened. She said to artists, why do you have to do your research if you claim it was a mistake and that you were just having a hard time staying awake? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> you either made a mistake or you didn't. You either screwed up or you didn't. What What's with this? First, you're saying that, you know, nothing happened. Then you say, well, you should do your research. Well, I mean, how much research you have to do? I mean, it's public. The divorce is a public information. It is. Or maybe you could have contacted Layla yourself and say, hey, um, how's the marriage? If you want to do research, because that's the only other research I could think of is contacting people personally. Because a lot of these guys will tell you anything, Nicole, just to sleep with you. Maybe Antoine did that. But you did not step back as a woman who was married once and say, you know what? I, I don't know if I should do that. No, what Nicole did was she went full on to be intimate with the guy that had a whole wife at home. And Nicole didn't care. She didn't care. But she's getting clowned on social media. So, <laughs> you know, let me know what's in the comment section. But let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see y'all next one.